Welcome back. China is well on its way to becoming the biggest internet nation in the world. Some 140 million Chinese are already online, and the authorities in Beijing are encouraging the use of the internet for business and education. But even so, political expression on the web is subject to strict control by the authorities. However, internet blogs remain the best way for people to disseminate reports and opinions critical of the government. Here's more. This is a secret office set up in an apartment in the center of Beijing. It's headquarters for Li Xindei and his friends. The blogger works day in, day out, writing about embezzlement, abuse of power, and corruption. I used to be a print journalist, but my articles were banned. Now I use the internet to address problems and to give a voice to ordinary people. Lee often makes personal visits to the victims of dirty dealings at his own expense. These farmers were beaten up because they didn't want to give up their fields for a new factory. But then Lee published the story online, and the investors gave up their plans. After a busy night at the PC, Lee is exhausted. He's fighting an invisible enemy. The authorities we criticize employ hackers. They attack our sites and infect them with viruses. That's why we constantly have to move our address. Sometimes we work 24 hours at a time. China's cyber police have blocked access to three quarters of Li's 100 sites. He just sets up new blogs. The state requires providers of blog sites, such as Boqi in Beijing, to censor their customers. A mouse click, and the picture is erased. The information ministry is constantly updating its lists of undesirable subjects and people. Recently, video bloggers have also found themselves under scrutiny from the state. The web is full of China's new celebrities, but protests are shut out. This editor has to apply the rules. We were surprised by the new directives. The government believes video blogs contain damaging information. As a blog service provider, we hope we won't be too limited, but we will follow the rules. Access to this video has not been blocked yet. Li has published a story about the construction of luxury villas. He says this field of maize has been leveled and the land forcibly taken from the farmers. Li Xindei is a member of the Communist Party, but he disagrees with abuses like this. China cannot isolate itself. The world has become so small thanks to the Internet. China needs the world, so the values which apply elsewhere should apply here as well. Li says he'll continue his fight to bring justice to the dispossessed.